Krishna, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Rama, Hari Rama. Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna. Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama. Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama. Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama. Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama. Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama. Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama. Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama. Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama. Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama. Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama. Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama. Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama. Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama. Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama. Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama. Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama. Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama. Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Rama, Hari Rama. Rama, Rama, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari Hari. Hello, everybody. Welcome. Thank you for coming. Yeah. All right. So, uh, you know the drill. Let's try some of this for see where things go. Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda. Sri Advaita Karadhar Sri Vasadi Gora Bhaktivinda. Jai Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda. Sri Advaita Karadhar Sri Vasadi Gora Bhaktivinda. Sri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda. Sri Advaita Karadhar Sri Vasadi Gora Bhaktivinda. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Rama Rama Hari 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hari Hari Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 
Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna yeah, let's try this seat. It's got a new seat here. Okay, whoops. There we go. Krishna, Krishna, Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama. Rama, Rama, Hari 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 Krishna, Hari Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama. Rama, Rama, Hari 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 Krishna, Hari Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama. Rama Rama Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari 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 Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna. Oh, yeah. oh, Krishna, Hari Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama, Rama Rama, Hari 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 Krishna, Hari Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari 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 Rama, Hari Rama. Rama Rama Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna The Lady Sangha members are overwhelming the men the men's uh, uh, um, level now. There's more women here, I think, than uh, than uh, than the men. <laughs> They're coming. <laughs> Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare 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 Rama, Hare Rama. Rama Rama Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 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 Hari 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 Rama Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hari Krishna 
Krishna, Krishna, Hari, 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 Ram, Hari, Ram, 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 Hari, 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hari, 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 Ram, Hari, Ram, 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 Hari, 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hari, 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 Ram, Hari, Ram, 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 Hari, 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hari, 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 Ram, Hari, Ram, 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 Hari, 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hari, 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 Ram, Hari, Ram, 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 Hari, 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hari, 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 Ram, Hari, Ram, 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 Hari, 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hari, 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 Ram, Hari, Ram, 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 Hari, 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari, 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 Ram, Hari, Ram, 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 Hari, 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hari, 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 Ram, Hari, Ram, 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 Hari, 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hari, 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 Ram, Hari, Ram, 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 Hari, 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna, 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 Hari, 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 Ram, Hari, Ram, 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 Hari, 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari, 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 Ram, Hari, Ram, 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 Hari, 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari, 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 Ram, Hari, Ram, 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 Hari, Hari. Sri Krishna, Chaitanya, Prabhu Nityananda, Sri Advaita, Gadadhar, Sri Vasari, Gora, Bhaktivinda. Sri Krishna, Chaitanya, Sri Krishna, Chaitanya. Sri Krishna Chaitanya, 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 Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, 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 Hari Hari. Hari Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari. Hari Ram, Hari Ram, 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 Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram. Ram, Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram. Ram, Ram, Hari Hari, Hari Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna, Hari Hari, Hari Ram, Hari Ram. Ram, Ram, Hari, 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari, 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 Ram, Hari, Rama. Ram, Ram, Hari, 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari, 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 Ram, Hari, Rama. Ram, Ram, Hari, 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 Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hari, 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 Ram, Hari, Rama. Ram, Ram, Hari, Hari. Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hare Krishna That's a little Govinda Lilamrita by Krishna Das Kaviraj. Let's see how that goes here. Krishna Krishna Hari 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 Ram Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Rama 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 Hari 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 Krishna Hare Krishna 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 Hari 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 Ram Hari Rama Ah I don't know if this is maybe chapter six or something. My dear moon face girl, please pour, oh, first of all, Jaya Jaya Sri Chaitanya Jaya Nityananda, Jaya Sri Advaita Chandra, Jaya Gaur Bhaktivinda, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya, Jaya Srila Prabhupada, Jaya Jesus Christ. All right, let's see how this goes here. My dear moon face girl, please pour the flood of all your talent on the supremely talented Lord Krishna. My dear moon face girl, 
Please pour the flood of all your talent on the supremely talented Lord Krishna, the killer of Bakasura. Offer your youthful beauty to the youthful, handsome Lord Krishna. Offer your youthful beauty to the youthful, handsome Lord Krishna. Direct your thirst for romantic love upon the sublimely romantic Lord Krishna. Direct your thirst for romantic love upon the sublimely romantic Lord Krishna. Offer some of your garments to the impeccable dressed Lord Krishna, so he may wear them in a, as a disguise. All these items are meant for Lord Krishna's service. Give them to him. That is their proper use. O oh, beautiful Radharani, your lover Krishna is overwhelmed with love for you. Defeated by the powerful Cupid, your Krishna is the ver is on the verge of complete collapse. <laughs> mm. Mm. Please quickly go to him and save him. When Srimati Radharani drank these nectarian words of her friend, she longed to meet Krishna. Overwhelmed with ecstatic love, she became stunned and could no longer move. My dear moon-faced girl, please pour the flood of all your talent on the supremely talented Lord Krishna, the killer of Bakasura. Offer your youthful beauty to the youthful, handsome Lord Krishna. Direct your thirst for romantic love upon the sublimely romantic Lord Krishna. Offer some of your garments to the impeccable dressed Lord Krishna, so he may wear them as a disguise. All these items are meant for Lord Krishna's service. Give them to him. That is their proper use. O oh, beautiful Radharani, your lover Krishna is overwhelmed with love for you, defeated by the powerful Cupid. Your Krishna is on the verge of complete collapse. Please quickly go to him and save him. When Sri Bhati Radharani. Oh, Krishna. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh. 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 When Srimati Radharani drank these nectarian words of her friend, she longed to meet Krishna. Overwhelmed with ecstatic love, she became stunned and could no longer move. Quickly arriving, Kundalata approached Srimati Radharani. She twirled the toy lotus flower in her right hand and grasped Radha's hand in her left. Quickly arriving, Kundalata approached Srimati Radharani. She twirled the toy lotus flower in her right hand and she grasped Radha's hand in her left. Tulsi and Danista stood in front of Srimati Radharani. Vaish Vishaka and Lalita stood at her sides. The other gopis stood in a circle around her. Affectionate Rupa Banjari carried paraphernalia for worship of the sun god and accompanied by Danista Dulce. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Krishna. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, my Lord. Ah. Oh. Ah. 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 Affectionate Rupa Manjari, carrying paraphernalia for worship of the sun god, and accompanied by Dhanista, Dulce, and other contemporary Gopri friends, followed behind Srimati Radharani. 
has her out already. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> Tulsi and Danista stood in front of Srimati Radharani, Vaishika, Vishaka, and Lalita stood at her sides, and the other gopi stood in a circle around her, affectionate Rupa Manjari, carrying paraphernalia for worship of the sun god, and accompanied by Danista and Tulsi and other contemporary gopi friends. Followed behind Srimati Radharani. Run run. <laughs> as Radharani and the Gopis. As Radharani and the Gopis. As Radharani and the Gopis. left the village of Raj. They noticed a beautiful woman carrying a jar of yogurt, a blue jay, a brahmin, and a mongoose, a deer herd, a sarabi cow and her calf, and a bull passing one another on the left of her side. Youthful Radharani glanced at a nearby pond and saw a blossoming lotus flower a swarm of bumblebees, and two dancing kajana birds. Thinking the lotus flower was her lover Krishna's face. <laughs> ah, Krishna, who? Ah, oh my. As Radharani and the gopis left the village of Raj, they noticed a beautiful woman carrying a jar of yogurt, a blue jay, a brahmin, a mongoose, a deer herd, a sarabi cow with her calf, and a bull passing one another on her left side. Youthful Radharani glanced at a nearby pond and saw a blossoming lotus flower a swarm of bumblebees, and two dancing kajana birds. Thinking the lotus flower was her lover, Krish, lover Krishna's face. The swarm of bees was his moving locks of hair, and the two birds were his dancing eyes. Radharani became stunned in ecstasy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. uh, thinking the lotus flower her, was her lover's her lover Krishna's face and the swarm of bees was his moving locks of hair, and the two birds were his dancing eyes, Radharati became stunned in ecstasy. When the gopis saw all these auspicious omens, they crookedly smiled and laughed, filled with great happiness. They moved very slowly. As they walked by her side, Srimati Radharati, <laughs> Srimati Radharani. Heheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
<laughs> ah! Ooh! <laughs> Chris. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> oh my lord <laughs> oh krishna ah uh. <laughs> his pastimes are powerful <laughs> When the, when the gopis saw these auspicious omens, they crookedly smiled and laughed, filled with great happiness. They moved very slowly. As they walked by her side, Srimati Radharani, moving as slowly as an intoxicated elephant, approached the boundary of Vrindavan forest. As soon as Srimati Radharani and her friends entered the forest, as soon as Srimati Radharani and her friends entered the forest, the personified beauty of spring also entered. As soon as Radharani and her friends entered the forest, the personified beauty of spring entered also. <laughs> <laughs> the personified beauty of spring also entered. The beauty of spring caused the trees and the creepers to broom. The beauty of spring caused the trees and the creepers to bloom. She caused the cuckoos to vibrate sweet songs on their throats. And she caused the bumblebees and sparrows to warble with pleasant waves of sound. When she might be right around. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, Krishna. When Srimati Radharani looked at the forest of Vrindavan, when Srimati Radharani looked at the forest of Vrindavan, when Srimati Radharani looked at the forest of Vrindavan, when Srimati Radharani looked at the forest of Vrindavan, <laughs> <laughs> she thought it was in truth the desire fulfilling the desire fulfilling transcendental form of her beloved Krishna when Srimati Radharani looked at the forest of Vrindavan she thought it was in truth the desire Desire fulfilling transcendental form of her beloved Krishna. She thought the splendor of the dark creepers of Vrindavan was actually the beauty of the transcendental limbs of her beloved Krishna. She thought the beautiful sesame flowers were the tilak marking on the forehead of her beloved. She thought the large Arjun trees were Visala, Arjun, and other coward friends of her beloved. She thought the fertile land was Lord Balaram, the elder brother of her beloved. She thought the feathers worn by the peacocks 
were actually decorations on the crown of her beloved. She thought the flowers blossoming on the Punana, Punanga and Amala and Champaka trees were flowers in the garland worn by her beloved. She thought, oh my lord. <laughs> She thought the beautiful sesame flowers were the tilak marking on the forehead of her beloved. She thought the large Arjun trees were Visala Arjun and other coward friends were her beloved. She thought the fertile land was Lord Balaram, the elder brother of her beloved. She thought the feathers worn by the peacocks were actually decorations on the crown of her beloved. She thought the flowers blossoming on the punana, punanga and the amala and champaka trees were flowers in the garland worn by her beloved. She thought the many kanchana and vidrum trees were gold and coral, oh my lord. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, She thought the many kanjana and vidrum trees were gold and coral, and coral ornaments worn by her beloved. She thought the splendid tamal, the splendid tamal trees were the luster of the body of her beloved. She thought the glistening gunjas were the gunja necklace worn by her beloved. She thought the shade-giving kandamba trees had provided a place where her beloved had sat down to rest. She thought, she thought the pleasant rustling sounds of the bamboos moving in the breeze were the sweet music of her, her beloved played on his bamboo flute. She thought the resplendent pitana trees were the kumkum powder worn by her beloved. She thought the many blossoming manata trees were the intense armrest desire of her beloved. She thought the charming, sporting, and handsome forest birds were the blossoming pastimes of her beloved. Whatever Srimati Radharani saw, she considered to be a limb of Lord Krishna, the enemy of a Visura, the continually sight of her beloved in this way became like arrows striking her heart and maddening her, her thoughts. This is certainly 
very wonderful. Srimati Radharani was decorated with a garland of fresh flowers, surrounded by intoxicated bumblebees. And she was accompanied by jubilant gopi friends. Her friend Vishaka then led her to a shady place. It was very clear that Radharani was greatly agitated by the awakening of armless love of her beloved Krishna. This is Vilapa Kuzmanjali. This is called a lament in the form of a handful of flowers. I think it's by Raghunath Das. Oh friend, Rupa Manjari. <laughs> Although you are very famous and an important person in this town, oh, my friend Rupa Manjari, although you are very famous and an important person in this town, still you cannot see the face of the Supreme Personality of Godhead standing before you. Your husband is not here, and yet there is a mark on your bimba fruit lips, and as if someone has bitten them. Did a great parrot bite them? O oh, lotus tree, on the pretext of this bunch of new blossoms, you are now broadly smiling in this forest. You have every right to be proud after all the black Krishna bee has left all the fragrant flower vines, and he is now searching the pathway to you. O oh, lotus tree, on the pretext of this bunch of new blossoms, you are now broadly smiling in this forest. You have every right to be proud. After all, the black Krishna bee has left all the fragrant flower vines, and he is now searching for the pathway to you. O oh, Rati Manjari, in this, in the king of Raja's city, where many gopis live, you are the most pious of all. That is why you are now going to a cave, requested by your queen to search for that favorite belt she forgot in the midst of many pastimes. Let me surrender to my spiritual master, Yadunandana Acharya, a powerful and dear devotee of the Supreme Lord. Yadunandana, he sprinkled the nectar of his mercy upon me. I worship Chaitanya, Lord Chaitanya Chandra, the Supreme <laughs> the supremely independent ocean of great mercy. I worship Lord Chaitanya, the supremely independent ocean of great mercy, who with his ropes of mercy quickly lifted me from the endlessly troublesome dry well of household life, from escape is very difficult, who gave me the shelter of his feet, which rebuked the lotuses, and who gave me to Swarup Damanar Goswami. Uh. <coughs> 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 Uh, uh, uh. 
I was unwilling to drink the nectar of devotional service, possessed of renunciation. But Sanatan Goswami, out of his causeless mercy, made me drink. Even though I was un otherwise unable to do so, therefore he's an ocean of mercy. He is therefore, he is very much compassionate to fallen souls like me. And thus, it is my duty to offer my respectful obeisances to his lotus feet. O Queen, a certain maidservant, overwhelmed with love in her heart, always burning in the great fire of separation, laments in the following verses. O Queen, a certain maidservant, overwhelmed with love and her heart, always burning in a great fire of separation, laments in the following verses. Oh, my queen, please rescue. <laughs> this unfortunate person, drowning in an ocean of pain, place him on the strong boat of your mercy and carry him to the wonderful realm of your lotus feet. Oh, Queen, please rescue this unfortunate person drowning in an ocean of pain. Place him on the strong boat of your mercy and carry him to the wonderful realm of your lotus feet. Oh, my Queen, with the medicine of the red lac from your lotus feet, Please bring back to life this person now dead from the bites of the black snake of not seeing you. Oh, my queen, with the medicine of the red lac from your lotus feet, please bring back to life this person now dead from the bites of the black snake of not seeing you. O queen, with the nectar of a moment's glance, please restore the life of this gopi maidservant. <laughs> of your lotus feet, who now burns in the great forest fire of separation from you. O beautiful-faced one, when, even in a dream, will I, by decorating my head with the splendid perfumed powder of your lotus feet, attain the goal of my life? Uh. <coughs> 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 O oh, beautiful one, when will the sound of your ankle bells sprinkling drops from an ocean of nectar cure my deafness? O oh, beautiful one, when will the sound of your ankle bells sprinkling drops from an ocean of nectar cure my deafness? Mm. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram. <laughs> Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Rama. Rama, Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna, Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Rama. Rama, Rama, Hari, 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 Krishna, Hari, Krishna, 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 Hari, 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 Rama, Hari, Rama, 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 Hari, 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 Krishna, Hari, Krishna, 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 Hari, 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 Rama, Hari, Rama, 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 Hari, Hari, 
Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Oh, oh God. <sighs> Hello, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, the guy. Yeah. I used to live in a forest. Uh, <laughs> Come on in. Come in. Wait a second. <laughs> the bike man's here. Hey, that's how are you? Okay. Yeah, very good. Yeah, yeah, good. good. Okay. My band's just there. I took it to my band just to get it on. Okay. Have you got those bits on? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, great, yes. lovely. All right. <sighs> There they are, all in there. Great. Right there. Great, lovely. Okay, okay. thank you. Okay, right. don't be long. Okay. Uh. Uh. The bike man's here. Uh. Okay. Uh. Why don't we read some Siddhanta, huh? You know, yeah, okay. Oh. Krishna, uh, I'm bringing space down now. <laughs> yeah, this is a great mercy and from the Lord to be able to relish the best of uh, Yeah, okay, let's see here. Let's get it together here. Hare Krishna. Yeah, you know, I was, I was reading uh, the pastimes of, uh, well, I was hearing these tapes of, uh, Hirani Kashipu and his terrorizing the universe and stuff like this. And actually, it's it's very relevant, and maybe it'd be good to kind of get a sense of what's really happening here and, and, and how to balance everything out, because it's going to get pretty crazy. Uh, I really believe it. You'll, you'll, I think we'll all see. It's going to be, our lives, are, uh, material life will be changing quite a bit. But the Bhagavatam is very nice because it helps strengthen us to understand, well, how do we situate ourselves in these times? You know, because there's a big shift in the energy. You know. So we'll go, I'll read these things and let's see what Krishna helps us understand here. Yeah. So, yeah okay. So this is chapter, is it six? Oh, Mike? Oh, yeah, Mike, 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 Mike. So, thank you. Let's get down there. <laughs> yeah. Home the mole, bug of a tea. Vasudevaya. Om Namo Bhagavate Vasudevaya. Okay, this is um, Srimad Bhagavatam, uh, Canto 7, and chapter chapter 2. Hirani Kashibu, the king of the demons. So, you know, in, in this um, cosmic 
uh, scenario here. <laughs> it's like, you know, history repeats itself. And so this happens periodically. Sometimes the demoniac energy uh, becomes, overcomes. It's like the, the modes of nature are competing with themselves, you know. So the demoniac energy, the demons sometimes overwhelm the, uh, the mode of goodness, which are represented by the demigods. Hey, Pani. Mina, yes, craziness, have to be careful how we respond, not to make decisions uh, out of material fear or anger. Yeah, and so this will help us all understand perspective, I think. Okay, so we'll just see. Okay, Krishna, please help us understand all of this that's coming down here. Okay, Sri Narada Muni said, My dear King Yudhisthira, um, when Lord Vishnu in the form of Raha, the boar, killed Hiranyaksha, Hiranyakashipu's brother, uh, Hiranyaksha's brother, Hiranyakashipu, was extremely angry and began to lament. Filled with rage and biting his lips, Hiranyakashipu gazed at the sky with eyes that blazed in anger, making the whole sky smoky. Thus he began to speak, exhibiting his, his uh, terrible teeth and fierce glance and frowning eyebrows. Okay. Uh, exhibiting his, uh, oh yeah, uh, okay, uh, took up his weapon and tried it and thus began speaking to his associates, the assembled demons. O Donavas and Daichas, uh, Dimuda, Trayaksha, and Sambara, and so on and so on, okay, a lot of them there, and other demons, a lot of them. Uh, all of you kindly hear me attentively and then act according to my words without delay. My insignificant enemies, enemies, the demigods, have combined to kill me, to kill my very, uh, to kill my very dear and obedient well-wisher, my brother Haranyaksha. Although the Supreme Lord Vishnu is always equal to both of us, namely the demigods and the demons, this time, being devoutly worshipped by the demigods, he has taken their side and helped them kill Haranyaksha. So isn't that interesting? Their quality of the Lord, he's equal to both the demigods and the demons. That's why, you know, he provides air. He provides food. Demons and demigods are eating. He's providing for everybody. I mean, like this. So there's that equality thing. But sometimes he takes the side of the demigods or in this case, um, he took the sides of the demi, uh, demigods to kill Hiranyaksha, but this this demon, Hiranyakashipu, was extremely powerful, specially powerful, given the boon by Brahma to even overcome the demigods. So the demigods couldn't overcome this one. See, and, and to me, I relate this to the Bible because there's a prophecy in the Bible where they say, they say they, these demons are given power for a time. Now, and the Lord will actually come and adjust everything. Isn't it funny, uncanny, how the Bhagavatam and the Bible, in essence, say a similar thing? The this is this is in my uh, as, uh, in my conclusion and and uh, what do you call it? what I'm seeing, what I'm noticing, is the symptoms and the signs of the times of this is this time when the, these demoniac forces are giving great power and they're overcoming the demigods and the and or good people. You know, people that are good, the overcoming um, people worshiping God, you know, usually in the Vaidhi level, that type of thing. And you'll see this will get more clear as we go along. So the, so the demons are given great power and people are starting to see this. They're starting to rise into the uh, arena now where people are noticing everything is changing and, and a big tyrannical one-world government is manifesting. It's just, 
I mean, if you don't, you may not see this at this point. Some people won't, may not, but some people will. I mean, I'm seeing it, you know, it's just, it's just as clear as a bell what's going on. <laughs> it's like, and getting more clear all the time. And, uh, and it's very powerful and, um, and more powerful than the demigods in that sense, because people are trying to counteract it with protests and, uh, you know, stuff like that. And, and, and you know, they'll probably see that it's going to be futile for a time, for a while. Robert Greene, equal to all, impartial to none. This is the loving Lord's mood. Yet now, bewildered by the external arrangement, now we are all confused. Ah, good point there, Robert. Thank you for bringing that up. Um, from the poem, Confused, Fuse of Youth. Yeah. Yeah, so equal to all and partial to none. This is the loving Lord's mood. Yet now, bewildered by an external arrangement, now we are all confused. Um, yeah, well, sometimes, yeah, see, sometimes um, this power is given to the, um, it, it's just like uh, Bhagavad Gita said, the modes of passion and, and uh, ignorance and goodness are in competition. That is their nature. So sometimes the mode of ignorance overwhelms passion and goodness or vice versa, or passion and goodness combined can overwhelm goodness. See, and that's kind of what we're having now passion and passion and deep ignorance is overwhelming the goodness goodness being the demigods worshiping you'll see it all get clear how her haranyakashipu was that kind of power he had a tremendous excessive power given to him um, by you know divine providence and brahma's boon just like now this is kind of thing yeah Great passion and ignorance stuff. Ignorance being, you know, yeah, it'll all be clear. It's very, it's amazing how this stuff really gives light to the situation where you understand things. I mean, it's, a, well, let's just get going to it. Okay. Uh, so, uh, all of you kindly hear me attentively and then act according to my words without delay. My insignificant enemies... The demigods have combined to kill my very dear and obedient well-wisher, my brother Hiranyaksha. Although the Supreme Lord Vishnu is always equal to both of us, namely the demigods and the demons, this time being devoutly worshipped by the demigods, he has taken their side and helped them kill Hiranyaksha. So the demigods were, they were, um, the demigods were powerful because they were, you know, getting worship from persons doing, like the sages doing the uh, ceremonial uh, ritualistic worship, which is also, it's, it's, uh, they're dedicating their, um, their worship to God and all this. Okay, so, but this demon was pretty strong. He could, he had his thing his ideas and and how he's going to use his power here. So, um, so my insignificant... Okay, right, right. Although the Supreme Lord Vishnu is always equal to both of us, namely the demons and demigods... Okay, I read that. Okay. The Supreme Personality of God has given up his natural tendency of equality towards the demons and demigods. Although he is a Supreme Person, now influenced by Maya, he has assumed the form of a boar, to please his devotees, the demigods, just as a restless child leans towards someone. I shall, therefore, sever Lord Vishnu's head from his trunk by my trident, and with the profuse blood of his body I shall please my brother Hiranyaksha, who is fond of sucking blood, and thus um, I shall be... I, I shall too be peaceful. See, now isn't that interesting? Fond of sucking blood. Now this is in the Bhagavatam. See, this is actually a very demoniac uh, thing. And if you actually do research in what's going on here, there's a lot of people that are into this blood thing. They're doing blood sacrifices very deeply in the mode of ignorance. They're getting their power from the mode of ignorance. 
You know, they're doing these dark rituals. It gives them sometimes longer life. It gives them uh, some kind of power, but it's very dark energy, very power, um, very um, insidious, horrible. You know, this is the demoniac thing. We're actually getting to see now um, what demons are really like, and and. Um, Gradually, you'll start to see more and more. We'll talk about these things. What's having, uh, how this Bhagavatam is helps expose what's going on here. Because one quality of the demons is they have, um, they're like snakes and very tricky, very deceitful. A lot of lie. They love to lie and they love to destroy stuff. They love to destroy people. So you met my family. Pani, oh my God, this guy around you. Yeah, yeah, well, that was, see, this is part of the pastimes of the Lord. You got to see that the, that <laughs> the Lord is always, he's always working for the benefit of, of, uh, of all life. And the thing is, he does. He has his ways that are very hard to understand, but you can understand by by grace and by revelation and all this. We can understand better and better the workings of the Lord. Yeah. So, in due course here. Yeah. Prabhupada saw it coming. He said it was an emergency to get the books out. Yeah. He saw it coming, yeah, yeah. So the Supreme Personality of Godhead has given up his natural... T oh, I read that, okay. All right. When the root of a tree is cut and the tree falls down, its branches and twigs automatically dry up. Similarly, when I have killed this diplomatic Vishnu... Uh, the demigods for whom um, Lord Vishnu is the life and soul will lose the source of their life and wither away. So now Hiranyakashipu calls Vishnu, who came as the Boar incarnation, diplomatic. You know why? Because he's, he's acting unfairly now. He's taking the side of the demigods when he was usually impartial to all. So, so Hiranyakashipu sees diplomatic because that's what people do here in, in, in politics and in also religion. This has actually been an anarta that, uh, that in the Christians used to talk about taking the side of rich people or something. See, so that, that is called diplomacy. And so Hiranyakashipu is saying, you see, Vishnu is very diplomatic. He's acting like a diplomat taking the side of these persons and, and and against somebody else so he's finding fault with that he's yeah see so when the root of a tree is cut and the tree the tree uh, and the tree falls down its branches and twigs automatically dry up Similarly, when I have killed this dis diplomatic Vishnu, the demigods for whom Lord Vishnu is the life and soul will lose their source of life and wither away. So in other words, he's going to try and kill God. He, this, is, this is ignorance. Okay? So, and, and, and so this is, this is a symptom of demons. They, they're like this. They, they want to kill God, but you can't really kill God. If they would have taken Shiva, it could have been avoided. Prabhupada said that. If the devotees surrender, the disaster could be avoided. Yeah. Yeah, oh, of course. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that's absolutely true. So the Lord does it in his other, whatever way he can get, get us to understand the value of surrender. Okay. I got to deal with this for a minute. Try and remember what I said. So I, I just having my bike fixed. You can see right here what I'm doing here. I think I just fixed my bike. Yeah, good. Okay. All right.
Done. All right, good. All spokes are in. Okay, not rubbing or anything. Right? No, 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 not rubbing or anything now. Left. Oh, nice and strong. All right. Hey, thank you so much. How much? That's 40 pounds altogether. Okay. All right. right. Let's go get it. You're good to go. Yeah. All right, thank you so much. You're yeah, welcome. Any problem, just yeah. give us a bell, but uh, you're good to go now. All right. Okay, nice bike. Yeah, thank you. Okay. I'll give you another 10 pounds for the help. Oh, thank you. Thank yeah. you. All right. <laughs> it wasn't a mistake. Oh, <laughs> Take care now. All right, thank you. Bye. Okay, we'll call you and if I need anything else. Yes, great. No worries at all. All right. All right, thank you, man. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> Okay, I got wheels again. Woohoo! <laughs> I can take a bike ride. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we can get out of this here. Ah. So when the root of the tree is cut and the tree falls down, its branches and twigs automatically dry up. Similarly, when I have killed the diplomatic Vishnu, the demigods for whom the Vishnu is the life and soul, will lose the source of their life and wither away. So, now there, there's... A, you can't kill God, but you know what you can kill is faith in God. See, some people... And, and, and people um, uh, do that. Sometimes, they, you know, they just... You feel... If, if you kill a person's faith, then they stop worshiping the Supreme Lord. And that ha that happens, and that is happening now. Some people, uh, uh, well, first of all, a lot of people's faith is more or less not so strong in God or not existent. And that's part of why the Lord does what he does. Like, like Mina said, um, if people would just surrender, then there would be no need for this. But there are a lot of demigod types they um they sort of believe in god as energy you know this is there's a lot of this going on and they're the ones fighting these demons now say like the david david guy i don't want to say his last name because uh you know ai is looking uh, <laughs> but anyway um uh these persons they're fighting this but a lot of times they don't have they don't have faith in the personal lord they have faith in it's the energy of the Lord. That that ain't quite good enough. Or even people like here. Uh, okay, I got this cat now. I have to. Okay, kitty, kitty. No, no, no. This way. Yeah, right. Yeah, this way. Yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. All right. Yeah. So and then and then there's people on the in the on the Vaidhi Bhakti path and and see this powerful demon Hirani Kashipu. Um, he actually interrupt. He actually 
um, um, stop their their way of worship. Okay, I'll I'll just get to it and then we'll talk about it. See all you have a bike. <laughs> See Hari Nim, there's yeah. Um, mm-hmm. So while I'm engaged in business, uh, okay, okay. Anyway, while I'm engaged in the business of killing Lord Vishnu, go down to the planet Earth, which is flourishing due to Brahminical culture and Kshatriya government. These people engage in austerity and sacrifice, Vedic study, regulative vows, and charity. Destroy all the people thus engaged. That's what's happening now. Okay? That is what's and 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 this kind of this level of de- demoniac potency is at the level where they can interrupt the sacrifices of these kinds of devotees and weaken them. Okay? In that sense, because a lot of people are dependent on going to external temples. Okay? They're they're dependent on getting together in the temples. And and when you stop that, you notice, do you see how this is all related? The demons, when they get very powerful, they want to stop the worship, interrupt the worship of God. So they're doing that to the Christians. Now you can't go to church. Yeah. You can't go to church. <laughs> you can't go to the temples. So they're, they're stopping the, the ceremonies that go on in the church. And that is one level of worshiping God. Okay? So they know that. This, the, the, these persons will lose their power in their, from, they get from their worship and their austerities and their Brahm, being the Brahmins and like that. There's some potency there. Okay. So while I'm engaged in the business of killing Lord Vishnu... Yeah, this, okay, and now this relates to what Jesus was talking about. Jesus said to the woman at the well, you, you don't know who you worship. We do. See, we do. Uh, you, you feel that you have to go to the temple to worship God or you have to go on a pilgrimage somewhere to worship God. But we don't have to do that. See, we worship the Lord in spirit and truth, and that's what we're doing here. We're worshiping the Lord with this Holy Spirit, this sacred spirit of devotion. Okay. All right. Okay. Something else I have to do here. Yeah, so yeah, so the sacred spirit of devotion. Now, when Jesus left, it's very similar to see all these things, this is history. It always repeats itself because it's the way, you know, history does, you know. And <laughs> so you got Hiranyakashipu, you got the time when Jesus came and he said, "Yeah, I'm going to distribute a kind of worship of the Lord in spirit and in truth." Now, what is the deeper meaning of the confidential meaning? The spirit is is this spirit of devotion, okay? and and it makes truth the absolute truth, the conclusive truth, not speculating on the truth. Like if you just study the Vedas, there's going to be more or less some speculation if you just study the Vedas. But you don't have the awakening of the love of God, devotion to the Lord, because if you have love awakened, this pure love awakened for the Lord, then when you look at the scriptures, you get this deep understanding this real knowledge that awakens simultaneously. It's different than just study the Vedas and, and imagining what you think they mean. Okay? The Lord reveals to those kind of devotees these kinds of things. Yeah. See, so this is in spirit and in truth is really the conclusive truth. Yeah, see, you understand. See, that, this way you know God. See, you know God like this. And then if you are alone, you can just chant Hare Krishna, like for us as Vaishnavas, worshiping God by chanting, you worshiping the Lord in spirit. It awakens this devotion 
and then and you get so many realizations on the name of Krishna or the pastimes of Krishna. See, so uh, great intimate uh, revelations come, and you're happy. Even if you were alone, you could do it. Or, or like we do. We do it alone, or like here, we have our little sangha. Even by the camera and people being in different parts of the Lord, people are nourished and nurtured. You can feel it. Ask yourself, after you come here a while, do you, are you making spiritual progress or not? Most are. Yeah, it's a tough world to love in, actually, to love in. You know? But actually, it depends. It's, 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 if you find this path that we're teaching, it's, it's, it's an easy, it's a, it's an easy world to love in, even this world. Okay, so again, when Jesus gave the Holy Spirit to the 11 persons, and then, then there's all this tyranny of the, um, the, the Romans against the Christians, against everybody, they were pretty oppressive. And, and so um, people were worshiping the Lord even in those tough times and they were always after them and everything. Just like now, you'll see this new regime will come after the, the devotees. They don't want religion. They want a one kind of their religion going on here, which is stupid, is ignorant stuff. Um, it's a, it's a religious of religion of destruction and destroying things and destroying people, you know this kind. This is this is demon demoniac, and that's what's happening here. It's coming up. People may not see it quite yet. Well, a lot of people are seeing it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so. So destroy all the people thus engaged. So that's the attack is on, on those persons now. So the basic principle of Brahminical culture is to satisfy Vishnu. The personification of sacrificial and ritualistic ceremonies. So that's one level of worship. And this is called Vaidhi Bhakti uh, or Varnashram Dharma and uh, following or worshiping God according to Vedic sacrifices, rules, regulations. See, this is the uh, this is the the um, the basically called external bhakti. It's the you start out like that. Generally, it's more of a beginner thing because you know it's still external, and and just like uh, in the religion of the Christians before they were Christians, the Jewish, they were worshiping Mo, uh, the Lord according to the teachings of Moses, which were rules and regulations. Okay? So when the demons get this powerful, see, and then they come after religion, these guys they, they buckle too because they, they can't they cannot surpass it. Many of these persons that are worshiping on that level of, of ritualistic, you're gonna see, already seen, they start taking shelter of this government. Just like the you see is coming up in here also. They start taking shelter and believe in this government. But the real devotees don't. If ISKCON just stays on the external level, they will not make it through this. No. Yeah, they won't. They, this, but see, that's part of the plan of the Lord. People, are, they, they're so, you know, they got a stubbornness and they have this faith often in something that's more or less illusion. And external worship of God is still external worship of God in the mode of goodness. It's still external bhakti. Okay? It's very hard and it takes a long time to perfect the system, lifetimes and all that. So this is an opportunity of, to drive even the Vaidhi Bhaktas worshipping on that level, external devotional service, drive them over to the devotees who worship the Lord in ecstasy. That's the next platform, spontaneous devotion, spontaneous devotees. So that's part of the Lord's plan and doing this too. Okay. So the basic principle of Brahminical culture is to satisfy Lord Vishnu, the personification of sacrificial realistic ceremonies. See, so that's one level of serving, uh, satisfying Vishnu. 
But you can go deeper. And the Lord is encouraging to go deeper. Okay. See, what are we doing to satisfy? Like some people, um, the question was asked of me today from somebody. Um, well, what is your path? See, what is your path that you're actually doing? Well, we're, we're here to satisfy Vishnu. Okay. Following the path that we, we were um, talking about this morning in Chaitanya Bhagavat, where Lord Vishwarup was following the path of, of, of worshiping the Lord's name, pastimes, and qualities. See, it's a path. It's called Raghunuga Bhakti. Okay. So he had the qualification to do that. Okay. So the teacher of that, that path has to be more than the qualification one needs to follow that path. So one actually has to have the qualification of love of God to teach real Raghunuga Bhakti effectively. Okay? Effectively means you're t what you're teaching and what you're demonstrating is transferable to others. If it's not, what is the point? What, to just talk about? There's so many those Raghunuga Sanghas and they talk, Radhe, 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 Radhe. It's, but who's, where is this, this kind of attraction this kind of ecstatic worship being transferred. Who's getting it? That's the question. That's what Jesus said. By their fruits they shall be known. See? Where do you see the fruits? See? If there is potency and there is the order of the Lord and the blessing of the Lord and the Vaishnavas, well, where do you see ecstatic devotion? This very rare jewel, very rarely attained. Where is it? You know, Rupa Goswami says in Nectar Devotion, and this is what they teach now, pure devotional service is very, is very rarely attained. Okay? It's very rarely attained. But you know, it becomes common when there's a person here in this world ordered to distribute it. Then all of a sudden that rare jewel is attained very easily without a lot of trouble. Otherwise, so many troubles. So many troubles. And, and, but when it's here, then it can become common to those who come and, and learn about this and, and, and associate with such devotees, believing in that message, becoming, um, uh, getting, being, becoming a result of hearing that message. Oh, wow, you become a witness. Yeah, this is really where, wow, I feel this, this new feeling, this, this, this genuine love for God awakening my heart. This is so amazing. It's changed my whole life. It's revolutioned my life. See, the book says those who get a bona fide spiritual master and they hear from them, they get the, the way of having spiritual experiences opens up to them. They experience a revolution in their lives. See, that's, 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 see, the book becomes a living reality for you, not just only in the book, only in your mind. Yeah, man, my life has changed. Oh, a revolution, man. Changed. It's a, the, the, that, that, the mundane. God creates a revolution, man. He comes and charges in there in my life and overcomes a false ego. That's a revolution, right? Comes, storms the, storms the walls of the false ego and takes over, man. And you're loving it. It's like, yeah, man, this is where it's at. Freddie says, all these demoniac qualities are created by God, and yet they, he never, and the Nitya Siddhas become contaminated by them. Only the Jivatmas, the marginal entity, unless they take shelter. Yeah, exactly. They got to take shelter of the higher spiritual energy. That's what we're doing. It's not, it's not strong enough to just take shelter of the, the external bhakti. You have to get um, connection with the transcendental potency above the mode of goodness, even above liberation. This is, there some kind of persons that are touching the level liberation and they also, they also cannot, they will not overcome this energy that way. They have to have full surrender, like, like Prahlad Maharaj. See, Prahlad Maharaj 
worship the Lord in spirit and truth. He would chant the holy name. Sometimes you'll read this in this these uh, teachings. Sometimes he cried. Sometimes he laughed, choked up. The, he had transcendental emotions. See, the Lord's looking for that kind of worship. That's where you get the full protection of the Lord, like Haranyakashi, like uh, Prahlad Maharaj did. And the, then the Lord actually sided with his devotee. He, he came from his impartiality and manifested a form strong enough, more powerful than even Haranyakashipu. Okay. So the basic principle of Brahminical culture is to satisfy uh, Lord Vishnu, the personification of sacrificial ritualistic ceremonies. Lord Vishnu is a personified reservoir of all religious principles. And he is the shelter of all the demigods in the great tapitas and the people in general. When the Brahmanas are killed, no one will exist to encourage the Kshatriyas to perform yagnas, and thus the demigods, not being appeased by yagna, will automatically die. See? But we, here, because, um, because they can try and stop all these external rituals, but still, uh, like Prahlad, the devotees can very easily meditate on the Lord in, in the stage of ecstatic worship. Okay? And that is even more powerful to draw the help of the Lord. Okay? So this is also a myst one of these mysteries in, in, the, in the Bible prophecy when this time was all was actually uh, uh, what do you call prophesized, you know, gonna get the mark of the beast, they want to give the mark of the beast, which to buy and sell. All that stuff is coming now again, like this. Yeah coming into manifestation. Um, yeah, so uh, with the Christians, uh, the Lord will come and protect them if they're real Christians worshiping according to the Holy Spirit. If you're just worshiping the Lord, Jesus Christ, in the mood of Moses, that's not going to be strong enough. I mean, you know, it's just these demons will stop that and then you'll just, you'll run away because you'll get in fear and all that stuff. Hey, but if you have the boon of Jesus Christ and you're worshiping in spirit and truth, then that will, the Lord, you know, will, you'll get that protection of the Lord. You'll, you will see that. And the same thing for Vaishnavas. You know, in the Vaishnava sector, will be protected by the worship of the Lord, even if the body goes. I mean, the Christians who really had the spirit of the Lord, they, they died in these, these lions were ripping up their material bodies and they had smiles on their faces according to history. If they were real Christians. Yeah. So, immediately go wherever there is, there is good protection for the cows and the brahmanas and wherever the Vedas are studied in terms of Varnashram principles, set fire to those places and cut from the roots of the trees uh, there, there which, is the, which are the source of their life. So you see, now you see the same kind of thing doing it, going everywhere. You see this, this force is everywhere. It's not just in one place. In, in, like before it was, it was uh, centralized at different places. Uh, the, the worship of God by real Christians was interrupted in certain places. Or, you know, like it just was in. Now, go everywhere. This is how powerful this demoniac force. Go all to the faces of the earth and stop everybody from worshiping in the temples 
Hey, that's pretty strong demoniac stuff, huh? Not just one place like in the Middle East or a couple of places. It'll go everywhere now and do it. That's the kind of evil that's upon this world now. Isn't that what's happening? Am I saying something that's not you can see with your eyes? Hey, cut off the worship. Cut off that ritual ceremonial worship of the Lord, which has some potency in it. See? Are they cutting off our word? They could cut off the internet. I mean, they, I'll still chant Hare Krishna. I'll still feel the Lord. I can still meditate on the pastimes of the Lord. Yeah, stop the, you know, stop whatever. And, and many people will be able to do that here. That's the whole point of our Sangha is come to the point of ecstatic worship where if it's just you and the, and the books, you can just chant these verses and you'll become ecstatic. The Lord will awaken in your heart. How does this 10,000 year golden age, which is meant to kill the inner demons and purify devotion only 500 years in? Well, yeah, let's see how it goes. I mean, you know, this was predicted. Let's see how it plays out. I mean, it's just starting, you know, maybe the Lord will come like, like uh, in some particular form and create a golden age from all of this does kind of say that uh, in the Bible. I have to study the Revelation a little bit more more to kind of get an understanding of what, what's, uh, what the, uh, the uh, end game is there. <laughs> There's so much is happening now. It's just hard to keep up. See, so... So, thus the demons being found fond of disastrous activities. You see? This is another... Proof, if a person has the eyes of the Bhagavatam, you can see, ah, look, the demons are, really, are more strong. They're, they're very fond of disastrous activities. And as I've been doing research into all of this, uh, fluoride in the water, what does that do? These are demons cause, putting fluoride in the water to cause problems for people, make them more docile. You know, it actually puts a little thing in uh, crystallization on the pituitary gland, makes it harder to worship God and maintain that connection through this physical body. Okay? Disastrous activities, they love that. The five, the big five. Let's see. That way. Yeah, anyway, that... Oh, I know what to do. Yeah, I don't have a pen. Next time I'll get it. So I don't want to say it because... So, you know, that thing, the, the oh, EMF, EMF. See, the M EMF. You just do research on EMF and you know what I'm talking about. The highest bandwidth now. Okay? See, so yeah. See, disastrous activities. See, they, they, they do want to destroy. They want to... And all in the name... See, the, the demons are very tricky, very slick very deceitful. Oh yeah, this is good for you. Oh no, it's no, they lie, 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 lie. That's their quality. They're liars. What did Jesus say about the devil? He said, you, he said, the devil's been a liar from the beginning. And those who serve lie through their teeth. Look at these, these politicians, everything, everything. This is the tribulation. Everything is unveiled. Look at these politicians that were actually the president of the United States. Talk about lie. My God, De degraded, degenerate persons. Him and his wife, degenerates, man. Horrible stuff, man. Eh? But anyway, that's their nature. You know, they're demons, you know. A lot of these guys all come into light. Tribulation means the revelation, the revealing of everything. The demons start you see, start to see who's you're going to see. Everybody's going to be forced to see. You know, after a while, you're just under control and manipulated. The tyrants come out. They're already acting tyrannical. You know, beating police are beating people up, man. For uh, you, you got to now be distant from people, all kinds of stuff. You, people are dying. See, disastrous stuff. You know, oh yeah, make people die alone without their family members, all this stuff. This is all demons and they're lying through their teeth. 
Yeah, you can come in if you want. <laughs> Lies! Those little whippersnappers. <laughs> See, fond of disasters. The demons set fire to cities, villages, and pasturing grounds. Have they changed? i just been doing research and this setting fires to the, uh, to the forest. You notice? all You think this stuff was, not, was just random? The fires in, uh, in, uh, in, in Australia, this huge thing. How about the fires in the uh, Amazon? The fires in California? is all well orchestrated by these things, trying to, and now, see, they're even more powerful because they have technology, man. They're putting nanobots in the smoke. Oh, it's not enough to just put the fire, put nanobots in the smoke. So, you, And then you got some other, you know, weird shit going on here. This is horrendous stuff. You know, fire, you think, fire usually burns from the outside. Now it burns from the inside. How are they doing that? Trees are burning. They see burning from the inside. This is demons, man. It's all, they love destroying. I'm not, I'm just telling you what the Bhagavatam says. Look at this. Can you see it, man? Bhagavatam is meant to open our eyes to see what's really going on. Hey? Thus the demons being fond of disastrous activities. Right? Killing people. Oh, get rid of the old people. Oh, all in the name. Oh, oh. <laughs> we know you guys out there, you're so stupid because we've put fluoride in your water and we've re-educated you already to be stupid. Obey authorities. Even authorities are killing you, man. <laughs> this is what we do. Hey, man. <laughs> There's good news here, though. Don't worry, you know, don't get all afraid now. <laughs> this, you got to just understand the nature of this stuff, man. And, no, you won't want to be bewildered by it. Just know everything is inverted. Even these people who know this, everything is inverted. They say, oh, we want to protect you as they're killing you. That's what demons do. Oh, we want so you can play your video games and we'll make your speed so fast as they're killing you and controlling you. Okay? Demons. They want to they want to cause problems. They just love this their nature. They think it's that's our sacrifice. Oh, let's let's create a war. Oh, that's another thing you do research. Let's create a war and sacrifice. A whole nation. Oh, let's just throw a bomb over there in Nagasaki, man, and just sacrifice that whole nation. And people get all kinds of... <laughs> it's like that, man. And they're drinking blood and do all these things. Like we just said, you know, they're very fond of blood sucking. And you see, if you do research, you find all these things out. I mean, hey, man, anybody can do it now. Every, it's a great unveiling. Don't be stupid, man. Why not check it out? Find out that the Bhagavatam is really true, man. You see it in living color in your life now. Your lifetime, you're going to learn the Bhagavatam. Hey, so might as well open up to it. Find out what it is. That's what I did for two weeks. I did a crash course on what the hell is going on in this world. And it's a lot of hell. But do you think I'm going to meditate on that? I pretty much got a big handle on what's going on here. Now I'm going to be chanting Hare Krishna, meditating on Krishna, doing my classes, doing my meditation, relishing Radharani, her love for Krishna. Yeah, do more of that, man. Because, you know, to fight all that, good luck, man. They got all the bombs, all the, they've been working on this for a long time. Yeah, but we can do this. This is what, and so the essence of the moral of the story of the Bhagavatam here, Prahlad just, in the midst of this, he kept meditating on Krishna. And Krishna actually came and adjusted everything because he comes to protect his devotees. So let us become 
deep, deep devotees. Let us do be prayer warriors, right? And be following the footsteps of Prahlad, meditating on the Lord, like we do. And, and then the Lord will protect not only us, the Lord came, did he protect only his devotees? He protected the whole universe became free of that tyranny of Hiranyakashipu. So that is our method here. That's the good news. So don't be into the, don't go and don't become a pillar of salt by looking back at the destruction. See? That's how you, I, I felt it, you know, kind of studying all this, this crap that the demons do. It was like, it was kind of like, ugh, you know, it's, it's jagged, man. So that's why the lady, you know, God says, well, this place is, is, needs to be, you know, purified by being, you know, the destruction. And, and so this one, the one, they said, don't look back at it. So just go forward and, and, uh, you know, to the promised land. So that's a, uh, the, the, the purport of that is stay with worshiping the Lord like we're doing here. And the Lord will, we have a better chance of bringing God than looking back at all that too much. See, just stay with this worship. Let all hell break loose here, but stay with this worship because they can't break that. See? They can break, you know, our meeting together here and there and all that, This even the sankirtan, which pisses the Lord off. I'll tell you, man. You, you don't think so? Look what happened when the Kazi stopped the Sankirtan. You don't think that's going to piss off Lord Chaitanya? And he's going to do something about it? I, you're going to what? That's why we're going to have a golden age. You start messing with the Lord's Sankirtan. He's here for the Kali Yuga to create this, this Sankirtan movement where people can chant and worship him in ecstatic love. And you're going to stop that, you little demons? Ah, you wait and you see what our Vishwambara does. Mm -hmm. The real protector of the universe. So in the meantime, we will continue our worship intensely and not take shelter of Vaidhi Bhaktis. They ain't got enough power to, to help us out. We can help them, but they can't help us. And not take shelter of the world. Not take shelter of these, these politician lying sacks of shit. <laughs> these dirt bags, douchebags. <laughs> And George Carlin, I was listening to him. He says, you think you got rights. These guys, we got rights, we got rights. And you know what? He said and he said it right. You got no friggin' rights. You only got privileges. They, when they want to take your privileges away, and what they're doing right now, they're gone. You got no friggin' rights. That's an illusion. They get you to get weak by trying to fight them and you die in, the, in a machine gun. They got these guns and these kinds of things they're going to shoot you with. And you, what, with your little arsenal? You can do nothing. Your rights, what kind of, we got no friggin' rights. They're taking them all away right now. They're showing, hey, you had no rights. This is an illusion in your own mind. George Carlin, listen to it. I actually downloaded it. Do a search. George, George Carlin, everybody. YouTube, George Carlin, Carlin, about uh, your rights. He did a little, a little thing about your, the, the, your constitutional rights. And see, and just through that humor, you see, yep, what he's saying is exactly right. He, you know what he used? He used this thing. Um, he said, yeah, you got rights? Oh, you got rights? No, you got privileges until they want to take them away. You got no rights. Ask the Japanese in 19, he said, Google the Japanese in 1942. All of a sudden, these persons, they were, they were, uh, they were uh, Americans. And all of a sudden, their rights were gone. They were just led to the camps. They lost their rights. They just decided, oh, by the way, your rights are being revoked. <laughs> because they weren't rights. <laughs> they just leading you to the FEMA, what are they, FEMA camps or war camps or something? FEMA camps. Yeah, we lead you to the camps. There you go. And then George Carlin says, yeah, this is the right way to the camp. <laughs> you know? 
And that's what they're doing now to everybody. Oh, free speech? Are you kidding? You thought we had free speech? Go out there and say anything against the narrative of the World Organization of Health. Say anything against that and see the snitches coming after you, man. They're already engaged and or 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 the the uh the um the police. What? You're giving fake news. Hey, where's your free speech? Go out there, you know, see how free you are now. <laughs> See, anyway, all of this stuff is happening. But as I said, hey, man, take shelter of Chani Hare Christian axes. Take shelter of, of this ecstatic Sangha. And if you're a Christian, take shelter of those who worship the Lord. who are true Christians. True means have real devotion for the Lord, real ecstatic devotion. That means you're a true Christian. Because that's what Jesus Christ came to give, right? A love of God, ecstatic Holy Spirit. If you don't got that, you ain't got Jesus yet. And you will go into fear and panic and be part of that group there. You take shelter there, take the mark, all that stuff. And same thing, you Vaishnavas, you want to take shelter, you got to take shelter of what the Lord came here to bring. And that's here now in our Sangha. If it's anywhere else, great. But is it there? Wherever it is, you got to take shelter of ecstatic worship of the Lord. Otherwise, you're going to take shelter. You're going to go in fear. And you'll either suicide. Even d devotees are already thinking suicide simply because they are not surrendered here. I am thinking suicide. Okay? When these, when these demons are now thinking genocide, persons who don't have the mercy will be thinking suicide or they'll go over to that side and become part of those puppets okay? or part of the genocide, you know, like this. Yeah. So there, this is how, see how the Lord forces people? You know, Jesus said the real path is the narrow gate. People are, you know, the Lord is, hey man, we're going to try and line you up and push you through the narrow gate. Otherwise, there, you know, that's where the that's where the the mercy will be found. Yeah, the Lord is giving us time, also giving people time to come onto the real path. Mm. Yeah, watch your words. The use of quantum computer picks them up. You get censored, and Facebook uh, uh, is owned and controlled by them. You see, that's how it is. You know what that computer is called? The beast. Isn't that funny? Are they being, uh, is, is, is this being obvious? Is the Lord actually trying to help us understand what's going on? The computer is called the beast. And that mark you get of the beast, see, that is connected to that quantum thing. And whatever it tells you to do, if it wants to annihilate your body, boom, you're gone. They, they love, see, the demons love doing nefarious, mischievous, and destructive things. That's just what they do. That's how that mode of ignorance rolls, man. So, you know, I don't mean to be discouraging, but this is, uh, it's, it's about actually encouragement. If you understand what's going on and you, you check it yourselves, you do your research, man, look what's going on. Look, see, everything is being unveiled. And if you don't look a little bit to find out what's really going on, get this internal alternative information. It's all out there now. Everybody has access to it right now, but you know what? That, that will close. That's more and more closing. You have to be looking and doing research so you understand what's happening and see it in, in, in relation to the Bhagavatam and that it is, it is prophesized. You know? And so instead of fighting too much against it, because that's the demigods and the demons trying to take shelter of the Lord like we're doing, like Prahlad Maharaj did, see? and became empowered and brought the Lord and overcame all of this stuff. 
That's what the Dwaita and the Haridas did. They did, they saw, you know, it was even back then it was there was it was people were just very materialistic and not a lot of people were not into God or they were real deceitful and hypocrites and liars and blasphemers, pretty much like now. But they just kept taking shelter of the Lord, and the Lord came and adjusted everything. However he does it, who knows? It's a great oh, it's always a surprise. Even Jesus said, that time is, uh, um, and when and how he exactly does it is a great mystery, and the Lord knows, and you know, he'll, he likes to surprise everybody. Nobody knew the form that the Lord was going to take as, as Hiranyakashipu, I mean as uh, uh, Nishingadev. Never, nobody knew the form the Lord was going to take as uh, as the boar incarnation, or Lord Chaitanya either, or any of the young. They just kind of surprise. <laughs> It'll be a surprise again. Won't be as people think. The master playwright, exactly. Yeah. So the being. So thus the demons. Fond of disastrous activities, took Hiranyakashipu's instructions on their heads, with great respect, and offered him obeisances. See, so that's that. See, there's the king of the demons. See, there's a king. There's a there's um um they're the you know they call them the one percent, and there's probably a, a main head or something like that, very similar. And you see, like like Hiranyakashipu had a lot of associates. But compared to the whole universe, just a few. See, they, but they're very, you know, well connected in in their own thing. So here they call, if you do research, bloodlines and all that stuff, you know, and um, hooked into this demoniac network, and they're contr they're controlling the world, and now they're showing their their colors now. Um, so the demons set fire to the villages, pasturing grounds, cow pens, and gardens. So we have fires all over the earth now, and they're not random now. And when you see this, this is how they work. Fire is a very important part of destruction, right? Fire is destroying, used to destroy. It's a great tool for them. And now they got, because they got techno technology, they put a few nanobots and different things in there and poisons and all of that. We got them inside ups. You, what do you, you think? You see these these what do they call chemtrails? That's all coming out. They got they've been seeding the whole thing for years and years and years. Long time. Long time. Is that a destructive activity or what? That's what demons do. See, they were in charge and behind the scenes, out of the shadows. See, they work like that, like snakes. Snakes are in the shadows, in the bushes. You don't see them, but they're doing their work. The chemtrail thing, you see, all this stuff, pollution, they like pollution. Yeah, make, make everything polluted. You know, kill the people off is more, you know, they, they more, more killing the better. They think like that. Yeah. So they burned hermitages of, uh, of the saintly persons. What are they doing in China? They're taking the crosses off the church and turning them into parking lots bulldozing them. You think that's only going to be there? Oh, nah. This is a persons who know, they say, look at China, and that's what's going to be happening in the rest of the world. They'll be bulldozing the churches. See, whatever's happening there is going to be part of the world. Hey, you got a cross? Oh, let's get rid of it. You got a temple? Let's bulldoze it over. Or let's make it into something else. They even sell humans to reptilian for food. There's a greater evil they serve. Yeah, this is all this is coming to the thing. Soon that will be the Antichrist. Exactly. See, Antichrist is a good thing to understand. Even back when Paul was there at preaching, he said there are so many Antichrists already at that time. Antichrist, you know what's Antichrist? You could be following rules and regulations and be Antichrist. Antichrist, anti Krishna is synonymous. See? You could say anti Krishna. So what is anti Krishna? People don't know who Krishna is, but we do. We're like like in the in the in the consciousness of Jesus. We know who Krishna is. 
and, and Vaidhi Bhaktas generally don't. You know how I know a person doesn't? If they don't like this preaching, because this preaching is ecstatic. It's all, yeah, did you notice that? You notice it's all about ecstatically relishing mellows, like the, the books teach about the what the Lord did, ecstatically relishing mellows. If you don't like that, you're an antichrist. Well, no, I follow rules and regulations and everything. See? But I sure like to blaspheme ecstatic devotees who are revealing the true nature of the Lord, which is ecstasy and relishing mellows. Like father, like son, right? Oh, yeah. See? There you go. You're a little antichrist. We can do something about that. You want are you willing? No, 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 no. I'm worshiping Krishna. I'm worshiping Jesus. Yeah, but I don't like ecstatic devotees. I don't like this rolling around and tears coming to the eyes and all of this. This is, uh, I don't like this. And let me blaspheme you, blah, 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 blah. But I'm a wonderful worshiper of Krishna. No, you're a hypocrite. Just naturally, you can't help it. If you, don't, if you don't like the true nature of the Lord, because this is the tribulation, man. It's the unveiling of who Krishna is, who Christ really is. Do you like ecstatic worshipers? Do you like his real devotees who have the Holy Spirit, the devotional spirit, love of God? Do you like them? If you don't, you're a little antichrist inside you. And that is the truth. Paul was like that. Paul was going against the Christians who had the Holy Spirit. They had Jesus, man. They're going around worshiping the Lord in ecstatic intimacy. They got the blessing of Jesus. And Paul was saying, no, I'm, we're, we're, we Pharisees are the real worshipers of God. Let us destroy the Christians, right? They, and when Jesus revealed himself, what did he do? He said, Saul, 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 why are you persecuting me? What does that mean? Those were the Christians representing Christ in this world. Eh? Same goes for the Vaishnavas worshiping the real Krishna in this world. Eh? Real Krishna is ecstasy, isn't he? Ecstatic personality. Very conclusive, very clear, very logical. And his son will be like that. Or his intimate friend, or, or father, or mother, or a conjugal worshiper. Very clear. Very logical, very conclusive, and very ecstatic. There you go. Satchitananda, empowered in this world. That's Krishna. If you don't like that, you are a little bit hypocrite inside you. And we'll scrape that out. So you can become a devotee. Real devotee. You know, like, get rid of the hypocrisy. Find out who God really is. God is ecstatic. He's Satchitananda. And we got to find a vigraha of that. That is a person who's received the mercy of a devotee, just like the books say. Teach. And when, like a Lalita Ganga, man, you see Satchitananda vigraha there, how did she get it? Her Guru Dave, right? You want to become like that? If you're not, if you don't manifest those kind of tears, those kind of laughter, you didn't get the mercy of a real girl yet. Can you handle that? Ooh. We push it to the limit here. The truth to the limit. You know, time, man. This is a tribulation. The great unveiling, everything. The demons will be revealed and the Vaidhi Bhaktas will be revealed as what they are. And the ecstatic devotees will be revealed where the real shelter is. Ask Janaki. That's right, he says. <laughs> See, isn't the Lord's form Sat Chirananda? Yes. See? See, Sat is eternal. That means the devotee who has an eternal spiritual body means he has a relationship now with the Lord's eternal spiritual form. 
which means also they got the chit, the knowledge of Krishna, the true understanding of Krishna, the real knowledge of Krishna, not just study stuff. No, they're Bhagavad Gita 1010 personified to those who worship Krishna with loving ecstasy, pure love of God. I give them the understanding, the real knowledge. Read the verse and the word for word to understand what I'm talking about in Prabhupada's book. Why wouldn't you want to go to those who have the real knowledge or the real understanding? Because in other words, if you don't worship the Lord with loving, ecstat, pure love of God, loving ecstasy, you don't have the right understanding. Why go listen to those? There's no time to dick around. You know, I heard somebody who had a guru for so many, some years, and they find out wasn't qualified. Well, you wasted a lot of time. No more time to waste. It's tribulation, the great unveiling of the truth. <laughs> Just stick around and all will be revealed. Exactly. <laughs> See, they burned the hermitages, uh, saintly persons, isn't that amazing? Doesn't it make sense? You know, how, it's, it's amazing. Bhagavatam. It's 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 why Prabhupada really wanted to write this stuff down. <laughs> it's nice, isn't it? Nice to be solid. At least you know what's happening, man. You know, and and the path. You know, otherwise you don't know. You're like confused. Like, whoa, what's happening here? And what do I do? Do I take shelter of these demons, or do I take shelter of those who whose in, uh, worship has been interrupted and they become weak and they sell out and run away? Or do we take shelter of the ecstatic devotees in their sangha and, and get this, 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 uh, this great treasure of ecstatic devotion that's very easily given? And then we're saved and then we, we're, we understand when Jesus said, don't fear those who can kill the body. These little demons want to kill the bodies, but fear those who can kill the soul. Anybody that stops you from associating with ecstatic devotees is a soul killer in that way. They just interrupt your, you're just going to have to take more births until you meet the devotees and take shelter. If you don't, Take shelter of a sangha like this, you missed your opportunity. You got to wait another time for it. I've heard, you know, somebody was telling me coming here, I won't say who it is, but it's a good teaching. They said, you know, so many people are against your preaching. You know? Yeah. And if you, if you, you stop by that, then you miss the opportunity you should explore. That's why you have to have greed because there, there are people there. You can't just jump into Vrindavan. You have to go through the door. And they're going to people, they're going to say, don't go there because, you know, they're part of the, the uh, resistance. You know, they don't, they, they're, they don't go and they don't want you to go either. This is what Jesus said uh, to the Pharisees. You know, he says, you guys, you don't go into the kingdom of God and you, you hinder others from going. You say you blaspheme and criticize them and everything. And you're hindering their entrance into the kingdom of God. So you got to pass that test. And usually, uh, that's why you got to observe. You got to see when you find a place where God really is, you're going to find really happy devotees. You're going to find juicy devotees, those who have some potency, man. They can stand up and glorify the truth. They can stand up before an audience, before a Facebook Live, you know, and glorify the absolute truth and feel happy about that. Not hide behind pictures. You ever notice Vaidhi Bhaktas? With no, this tiny height. Where's the picture? Oh, well, they just, I don't exist. You know, and then they, they, they show the video, you see the deities only. Or you see their guru only, and you never, well, what about you? What's your realization? Well, I don't exist, man. Just look at the guru over there. You know, I just want to, you know, see? Where's the power in that? Where is the authority in that? Where is the, the substance in that? What kind of bhakti you're teaching out there? You got gurus like that that can't give you some strength. You come here. Why not just observe? Observe. Look at the students here. They're up there right on Facebook Live. Who else is doing that? 
Who else is getting up there? Glorifying the truth, glorifying their guru, glorifying the Lord. Tears pouring out of their eyes. Who is doing that? Who has the potency to do that? And personal, I don't exist. Exactly, that kind of thing. Well, we're very personal about this. Well, this, this path has personally changed my life. And I just love getting up here and screaming it, shouting it from the rooftops like Jesus Christ said. <laughs> Didn't he say that? Shout it from the rooftops. Well, hey man, are we shouting it from rooftops or what? Yeah. Only pictures and they even show their face. Exactly. So, hey, you little little hider-outers, come here. Well, you want to get strong? You want to really go deep in a relationship with God? You want to have a revolution in your life? Come check this out. Yes, you will have to leave these people who are trying to kill your soul and happiness behind and instead of trying to save them or argue with them. Exactly. Focus on, and, and, you know, and then naturally you'll get stronger and then automatically they'll look at you, people that you had connection with, they'll look at you and say, whoa, why, why are you, you know, God, you must, maybe I was wrong in my thinking. Maybe these people I listened to were wrong. Look at the potency that's happening. Look at the, by their fruits, they shall be known. You know, the fruits, the fruits here of this, you know, this, uh, to, to act as a, in the position of guru thing, uh, you got to look at fruits. Are there any good fruits out there from people listening here? We're sowing words of the kingdom. Are people entering the kingdom of God here or what? Yes or no? Yes. You know, that's the bottom line. Jesus said, I'm a sower of the word of the kingdom. Because if you get that word sowed in you, you will have a relationship, transcendental relationship with God. Same thing goes here. You're listening to these words. Is Krishna awakening in your heart? A relationship with Krishna. Can you feel Krishna? Can you feel these scriptures? Can you feel this ecstasy? Yes or no? No bullshit, man, here. Been enough of that, right? <laughs> it's gone part of the journey time to move on well you know Krishna's making it <laughs> it's nice during the lockdown anyway because now I can yell and scream people say ah you know it's lockdown we're all doing that anyway everybody's yelling and screaming next door they're frustrated <laughs> angry hey there's just another one so it's great man great for my preaching I can yell scream do whatever I want and they think, well, you know, it's just, you know, lockdown. <laughs> it has its perks, this lockdown. <laughs> huh. See, they burn hermitages of the saintly person, see, doing that in churches, right? Uh, they're bulldozing. In China, they're doing it. Now, that'll happen here. You'll see. They'll change churches into temples and parking. You can't go there anyway, right? You don't think this distancing thing is going to go? They may roll it back a little bit, but hey, man, the next pandemic, oh, more fear, man. Yeah, oh, okay. You know, we're already, they're already re-educating re and conditioning us to fear each other. Oh, don't hug, don't touch. Oh, talk about destroying people. You know, can you imagine you put people there like that? They know, they know social stuff. And when you get like that, and then all of a sudden you just start to die. And no social contact or anything like that. You start to die. You know, did you see that policeman? Did you, you see? Uh, you, no, there was another one today. Probably didn't see that one. I've seen two. Yeah, he saw two, yeah. So the other one guy got up and said, Hey, man, I go and see my family. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I don't know about you. <laughs> yeah. they, I'm sure they've taken that one down. <laughs> so.
See, yeah, and the resi resi residential quarters of the agriculturists, the mountain villages, and the villages of the cow protectors and coward men, they also burned the government capitals. Yeah, and so you see how now they're taking the seeds away. If you go in America, they're going to do that everywhere. But so in America, you can't even buy seeds to grow your own food. They're hurting everybody up, so you can't go out. Can you imagine? They stop you from growing your own food. And then they, and the farmers have to throw all their crops away and burn them under. See? Destroying everything. This is demoniac, isn't it? Yeah. Taking people's jobs away, creating this thing. You know, they've already, it's widespread. This is only, this hasn't even killed as many people as the flu. And they're treating it like a mass destruction or something. Can you imagine? And they're lying that they, they you, if you have, everybody has this genetic, it's really just genetic material in them. Everybody practically has it. And if you just test positive for the genetic material, that they say, you see, everybody's got this virus. But how many people are dying from it? Well, oh, as many people as that had the flu last year. Ridiculous, and people are tricked into this. See, because you, if, but if you take shelter of the Lord, that's why they want to destroy the worshipers of the Lord, because you get they, he, the Lord gives you the eyes and the intelligence to understand what's really going on. Okay, and for to keep our sangha going under these circumstances, we teaching these things so that people know what's going on. See? And not to get, and Jesus even said, don't, he said, don't be, um, this must come. This is ordained by the Lord. See? So don't be bewildered by this. Some of the demons took Dibby. Isn't that interesting, the different moods? You know, go from this soft like a flower to hard like a thunderbolt. They, that scripture says that. That shows you there's, this is the Lord coming through, man. How else can you, this, you know, just, it, this is the, when the Lord takes, uses a, a person, then he has the qualities that the books teach about. He manifests. Fake news virus, yeah. Yeah, okay. Um, so thus disturbed again and again by unnatural occurrences. See, unnatural occurrences. All this stuff with the five, you know what? You know, this is unnatural occurrences. It's causing cancers in people. Oh no, uh, you know, just two years ago, they did, were doing all these studies and, and they say, yeah. And all of a sudden, oh, it's all fake news. No, it's causing this. People are getting cooked from the inside. Talk about dastardly. Oh, no, it doesn't do anything. No, let's roll out more. Yeah, we want these. We want to know everything that you're doing there. And put the cameras connected to that five, you know what. Connect the cameras to it so we can get control and see every up your rear end, man. We want the little nanobots in you. We want you to get the mark of the beast hooked up to that computer. And by the way, we call it the beast. And we even have a resolution now called 666. Resolution, man, really? it's all news. No fake. Fake news is coming from the liars. <laughs> They're just projecting. They're the fake news. The real news is, hey man, look at the the, uh, the thing over there. That That's going to... They're going to be tracking everybody, and that's resolution 6666, four sixes. Three of them are in there. <laughs> and people, can you believe it? People are so stupid. They think, uh, or at least the ones who believe it, I, I'm sorry, man. If you, if you believe what's going on, you're stupid. Resolution 666. Come on, wake up, people! <laughs> and the patent on the virus, 666, is a, is a zero in between. But there's three sixes in there. 
patent on, no, patent on the shot with all the goop they're putting in it. <laughs> see, see, this is the dem demons. Okay? All in the, oh no, we're trying to save lives. And what are they doing? Destroying lives. You know, they say, oh yeah, you know, yeah, we, we stay, stay indoors and save lives. And they're finding, that cop said, hey, we're finding people are dying staying indoors. See, they're killing you. And you're all taking it like, oh, they just think, because I believe the government, I've been re-educated and programmed to obey authority. Not question, no, no, we don't question authority. Snitch on my brothers and sisters? Oh, I, yeah, I never saw 1984 by George Orwell or They Live. <laughs> Movies like that? Or even Westworld, look at Westworld, man. You find out what the world is coming to already. That's the latest one, you know. So maybe they believe they are doing the right thing. Uh, well, okay, let's go into that. All right, all right. Well, the ones at the top, they're believing they're doing the right thing, being demons. You know, oh yeah, the right thing is depopulation. Let's let's kill off the most of the population, like billions of people. Yeah, they believe they're doing the right thing. Is that really the right thing? Yeah. Yeah, and you know who's doing? Yeah, those who are obeying the orders think they're doing the right thing because they're order followers. They just taught to obey authority, and they believe they're doing the right thing. Yeah, well, they're serving. You want to serve demons? Well, then you're serving the side of the demons. Where is Yamaraj? Yamuna? Oh, Yamuna. You want to see? Where is? She's saying, "Where is Yamuna?" She just came in a little while ago. Hare Krishna. <laughs> She's, she was kind of resting today. She was upstairs. Here, we'll put you over here. <laughs> oh, oops. Yeah, you can look at her a little bit. There she is. Take a little shots. There she is. Huh. <laughs> oops, what is this? Oh, that's where the problem has to go like this. Yeah. There we go. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll stop soon because I have yeah, my voice, poor voice. <laughs> yeah. So, thus disturbed again and again. Um, oh, wait, wait. The, some of the demons took digging instruments and broke down the bridges and protective walls and the gates of the cities, some took axes and began cutting important trees that produced mango and jackfruit and sources of food. And so they see all this stuff is going on, even with these things, they're killing birds, they're killing off animals. Um, so anyway, these this is you know, an extinct, extinction event, actually, people are calling it. People or things are being extinguished. But, you know, is it part of the plan of the Lord? The Lord, as you see, here, because I, I, I'm not going to go so much further now, but I'll just tell you, in, in, if you look at this in perspective, it was a pastime of the Lord in that sense, um, because in the long run, the Lord did come and took the side of Prahlad. He came for the benefit of his devotee. He wanted to teach that he comes at the, the, for the benefit of his real devotees. And then everything gets adjusted. He got rid of the, you know, the, the demon and everything got, you know, killed and all this, and then everything gets adjusted. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think I'll stop here. <laughs> My voice, poor voice. Is just... In fact, I'll take one of these things if I have them around somewhere. I disappeared. They were around somewhere. There you go. 
Uh, I would even sing a song, but I don't think I can do it. I don't think I have my voices. Okay, well, thank you. Good, like 20 people. That's amazing. Yeah. Thank you for coming, everybody, and I hope you enjoyed the show. We try to make this very entertaining. Actually, I don't even try. It just kind of... <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll read some of the comments here. Uh, Cole says, um, applying to Dylan. Dylan Mason, bro, he is almost done now. You should watch the replay. Oh, yeah, anybody missed this, watch the replay. It's a great, a great, uh, great show, you know, in all its, in all its aspects, you know. <laughs> replay when it ends, because, wow, there was a lot of important truth today, yeah. So... So, see, Bhagavatam preaching is like first first canto and second verse is the highest truth is reality. See, reality, the highest reality, which we're teaching here because this has been revealed by Lord Chaitanya, it's reality distinguished from illusion, okay? So reality, the true reality is eternal reality, okay? That's the eternal reality. And what is that? What the Lord revealed is relishing devotional mellows, loving God pure love of God, okay? That is what's available now. That is what we're teaching. We're distinguishing, is distinguishing reality from illusion. What is that? The temporary world, the mode of goodness, the mode of passion, the mode of ignorance, see? And distinguishing like what is going on in this world. Is it really truthful, eternally true? What's happening? Is Vaidhi Bhakti eternally true? No, it's a temporary thing. You know, it's a mode of goodness is temporary in the modes, right? Is mode of passion true? Yeah, it's true for a time also, but eventually goes. See, we distinguish that. Is is are these are these demons that are taking over the world, are they really true? Are they really in the mode of goodness, or are they just lying to everybody that they're they're good people when they're destroying you? Yeah, it's called hypocrisy. Okay? So we distinguish all. This is part of our fun, man. This is how we enjoy life. <laughs> this is how I enjoy life. And if you're coming, then maybe you're enjoying too. And uh, it's fun to it's fun to worship God in truth, man. In all truth, in in understanding what is temporary in this world. This is these are subjects we all need to learn. We're human beings, right? We're, we're, we're living in this temporary reality. Well, what's going on in this temporary reality? Well, thank God for Bhagavatam because we can find out in this book, in this tablet, full of these books. Thank God for technology. See, we're using it for the good. <laughs> See, demons... They get hold of technology and they use it to uh, to kill people. They use it to destroy the world and the, the planet. All as a sacrifice to their Lucifer. <laughs> Govinda, straight out of Bhagavatam, all of this. No one is sharing like this from, from my... Thank you, yes. Thank you. Thank you, Lalita, for coming. Thank you for, thank every, all the devotees for, you know, for um, being part of our family. You know, this is such a good devotional family, devotional community. Thanks, Ival, also for coming so much and all the help you've done. Thanks for the truth again and again. Yeah. Going to watch the replay. All right. Yeah. Cool. The demons want to be um, the demons want to be all seen like God. That is why they try. Yeah. Yeah. It's all imitation, trying to imitate the Lord. Freddie says, why must there always be a lot of people get killed before the Lord intervenes? If he already knows the plans from the demons from Maybe he likes drama, I don't know.
part of it, you know how the demons use fear, fear and panic. They want people in there. Well, this fear, some people, it drives them to God. And so those are the ones get saved in this cycle. See, the others take shelter of the demoniac force. Maybe the Lord liberates them too, like he liberated a lot of demons in um, Krishna's pastime. So, you know, liberation is better than, uh, than being a demon, you know. So that's mercy also. Cold, because to our God it lives in flickering temporary like a brief moment. Is there karma? This is uh, Gurunda Mahar. This is Shamagori Devi Dasi watching for the first time. Oh, thank you very much there. You might find um, this guy's delivery is a bit intense, but um, you, know, you get used to it maybe. Maybe not. Yeah. I'm a friend of River Yamuna Devi Dasi. That's uh, Gadrum Maro. You know that person? Yeah, you, know, you must know. This Gadrum. Oh, shoot. Hmm. Oh, yes, show me. Show me. Oh, hey. No, thank you for coming. Okay, so thank you, everybody. And we'll be back tomorrow. And somebody else might be broadcasting now. If you want, you can. Um, I really encourage you to watch also my students' stuff here. My students and my friends, you know, they're more my friends now. <laughs> they're going to be becoming more ecstatic than I am. That's amazing. He shall do greater things than I. You know, that's kind of that same thing. So, um, Listen to their, if you want to know and get some faith in what's going on here, because the best way is you look at the witnesses, watch their classes, look at the beautiful classes they're giving, empowered classes, the fruits of bhakti happening. And also they even share sometimes their struggles, which is very encouraging because then you can see like, this person is is surrendering and and they're dealing with the uh, demons inside them that's coming out or the false ego and they're you know and they and you see the advancement they're making all these things beautiful to see and important very rare i mean it's not always we see such such stuff i'm one of them old sankirtan devotees from iskon oh really oh wow welcome if you know Mina, Mina is also an, one of those old Sankirtan devotees from Iskai. <laughs> yeah. If you're not, make friends with her if you don't know her. You probably do. Okay. Thank you very much. Hare Krishna, everybody. <laughs>